Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. The version 2.9.7 of the MyLinuxWork.files for Hyperland is now available. And not only for Arch Linux users. For the first time, the advanced configuration of Hyperland is available for Fedora Linux. The installation script has been completely rebuilt and now supports two distributions. And in the future, more will come on top. You will get a full featured Hyperland desktop, a lot of possibilities to customize, a lot of possibilities to configure the system to your needs. You will find all information in the mylinuxforwork.files wiki. And if you like that video, please subscribe to my channel. Let's jump in. I'm here on Fedora Linux, Fedora Linux 41 in the Workstation Edition. And in this platform, we will now install the mylinuxforwork.files for Hyperland. First of all, let me change the appearance because I really prefer having the desktop in a dark theme and also maybe another wallpaper. I will take this one. Yeah, this looks much more modern. Okay, now we are ready to go. Please make sure before we start that your system is up to date. So please check that all of your packages are up to date. And now we are ready to go. We enter github.com slash my Linux for work slash dot files. And now we are on the repository and you go here to wiki and in installation. And when you scroll down, you see here the section for Fedora Linux. Copy that command and open a terminal. And paste the command in with Control Shift W and execute it. This is now the installer for the dot files. I confirm the installation with yes. Now some packages will be installed that are required to run the dot files installer. I need to enter the password. And here we are. When the release of 2.9.7.0 is officially released, then you can select main release. In that moment where I record the video, it's still on uh, the rolling release. So I will install the latest release on the main branch, including all commits. That's why I select rolling release. The dot files, including the installer, will be downloaded now. And we start the setup now. Yeah, now we are ready to install the dot files. I want to install the dot files now and in addition, all the required packages. With return, I confirm that. And now all packages will be downloaded. First of all, Hyperland. In parallel, the new installer creates a log file. You see here, when you show the hidden files, you will find a folder dot my Linux for work Hyperland. And here is a log folder. All the messages generated by the commands will be stored here in that log file. The installation take a while. Give the script the time. And that's it. You see that all packages have been installed successfully. So we can proceed with the selection of the target folder of the dot files. Is the dot files folder as default? I confirm that. Then the backup script starts. So we can also create a backup of existing files that will be replaced by the dot files. So in that case, it's the dot bashrc and in the dot config, the gtk 3.0 folder, I create a backup. And now let's open again 
the file manager. Again, the by doing for work hyperlink folder. And you see here the backup folder. And here's the bash rc and the dot config folder. Yeah. Next time when you create a backup, when you update the dot files, this backup will be moved into the archive folder. And in the backup, you will find always the latest backup. Let's close it and install SDDM as our new display manager. Yeah, the current display manager is GDM, but we will replace it now with SDDM. Okay, and we will also install the Sequoia theme for SDDM. Installation successful. Okay, now we change the keyboard layout from US to DE in my case. I don't need a variant for the keyboard. And this is the setting that I want to use. That's why I select proceed. I'm on a laptop. That's why I will enable laptop presets. And now the system asks me again if I want to replace the existing .bash RC file. I say yes. And wallpapers. I will use the wallpapers that are chipped with the my Linux for work files. That's why I select here no. I don't want to download the whole repository. And now I will copy the dot files to the target section. And the script is done and I can reboot the system now. I'm here on my laptop. That's why I need to stop the recording for now. And I see you again in Hyperland. And welcome on Hyperland with the my Linux work dot files. And we are on Fedora Linux. So with Super key return. I open a terminal and you see that we are here on Fedora Linux. So everything is working fine. We have here Nautilus. Also there, we have Firefox installed with super key control return. You open Rofi, the application starter. And here on the right side, you see the power icon. When you click here, you have W logout. And here with the My Linux for Work icon, you open the sidebar where you can also open the Welcome app, the Settings app, and the Hyperland app. You see, everything is working fine. Okay, let's change something. Let's open the Welcome app and click here on installation options. Because I want to switch the shell from bash to ch. I will also change the file manager from Nautilus to Yazi. And with that, I can cancel and have to reboot to activate CHH. So also here, see you in a second. And now I'm back on Hyperland and you see that we have CSH now as a shell and the file manager is Yazi. So very easy to configure. Now let's do some more changes. First of all is the wallpaper. Yeah. When you click here on the wallpaper symbol, Waypaper opens and you can select another wallpaper. So that is very easy. Or here the Spaceman. Looks also very nice. And you see that all the colors of the application follow now the wallpaper. And this is based on Pywall. And also the sidebar is now using the colors from the wallpaper. Let's open the Hyperland app. And here we can do much more. Let's open more windows and I can reduce the border size from three to zero to disable all borders. I can also increase the window gaps and the window gaps outer. Yeah. And 
I can also, when I scroll down, the window rounding, I can set this to zero. Now I have no rounded corners anymore. And the active opacity with 10 is fine. And I will reduce the opacity of the inactive windows to six. Yeah, you see now here that effect that inactive windows have a lower opacity. I can disable or enable the shadow. Also, this is working fine. And here you can tweak a lot. Let's change the wallpaper again with super key shift W. Then the wallpaper will be selected randomly. We can also change the waybar theme by clicking here on the three dots. And I will select blur black. In that case, and you see I have now a waybar with black icons and a light blur. And this looks also very nice. Yeah, and you see a lot of possibilities with the my Linux or work dot files. In upcoming videos, I will explain all aspects of that setup of the my Linux work dot files. I will go through all configurations that you understand how I have implemented that. And yeah, and then you get to know all of the aspects of this Hyperland configuration. And this is the version 2.9.7 of the my Linux or work dot files for Hyperland. For the first time, also for Fedora Linux users. Welcome on board. The support for another distribution will come soon. But I'm still in the onboarding process. So stay tuned and have fun with the new version of the my Linux or work dot files. See you next time.